Yep, it's another trip. We're going. Hmm. It's time for Portugal. Okay, so this is an episode of another trip. Yes. Okay, we just got into Lisboa. <laughs> Uh, looks like it was delayed a little bit in London, but we're here. What are you doing now? Say hello. Hello. Several broken nails. This one, this one. I think I'm just gonna cut them all short. Oh, it's mine, it's mine. Jeez, Louise, hold. Hold it. Please, don't block it. So what is the major crop here? Is it olives? Uh, olives we have in this area, in this area, yeah. we have a lot. So okay. I've always said that I want to try to record or document this trip, but I'm so bad at it. I'm sorry. Anyway, so on my birthday every year, my darling husband, my BD, takes me somewhere for my birthday. This year, we decided to go to his bar, Portugal. And um, we had our connecting flight through... Um, London actually and when we got to London the flight was a li little delayed before we ended up getting to Lisbon so um, yes and uh, we had a car uh, scheduled from the hotel to pick us up and the car was there waiting for us which was great because it was a long exhausting flight so 
uh, they were kind enough to make sure that it was an English speaking driver which I mean in today's day and age with Google Translate and and uh, what's this other one Duolingo and what's this other one that I have I can't remember I actually have it on my phone I mean <laughs> you can kind of get by with those translating translation apps so this cool driver with his lovely car was telling us a little bit about Lisbon and well I asked him about what their their main cash crop is or whatever now they said they were gonna give us an English speaking driver I mean he spoke English but I'm not sure if he understood 100% <laughs> what he was being asked but um he was really good and he told us about this beautiful tree called the Chacaranda that you would find all around Lisbon that came from Brazil. Very beautiful, looks like, like you know, lavender on steroids. Uh, it's a beautiful tree and he told us that once we get to the hotel, it, there's a park in front of the hotel and it's lined all the way through in the hotel. So that was pretty cool. Um, and so I was excited because if there's one thing I like or one thing I love is plants, trees, flowers. Um, I love trees. <laughs> I really love trees. Um, and so I was really excited. I couldn't wait to see them. Um, they almost like, you know, wisteria. Um, and they also had a lot of wisteria trees and, uh, no, no, not wisteria. Actually, it was bougainvillea also they also had around. Lisbon so they they did good with the flowers and trees and plants and vegetation around the city um, So yeah, so we got to the hotel and um, We were really really exhausted checked in went into the club lounge To um, Just kind of chill a little bit while we waited for our room to be ready um, and a lot of times when I these days with everything that came along with COVID the, the hospitality industry has really really taken a nosedive it's not just the airlines the hotels as well and um, a lot of things that that came standard with a luxury hotel at least anywhere from four to five star hotel you're not getting it anymore you have to request it it's it's just and then the service is just terrible right but portugal uh lisbon actually i shouldn't say portugal because it's a whole country but we were in lisbon um for the most part they were really uh friendly really really um, quick to accommodate and uh, so the reason I brought this up is because since the pandemic I haven't enjoyed you know walked into my hotel room and been like wowed and said oh yeah this this works for me I've always had some complaint and and I said nope I cannot stay in this room you know the the, my last trip to London, the room was so tiny and it was a good thing because I didn't travel with my BDD. And by the time I got there, I was so exhausted. So I just said, I'll take it for what it is. But, um, you know, it's not like they don't have larger rooms. And it's the reason I'm, I would say I'm complaining is because I have this, I, I typically stay at Intercontinental when I travel. And I, I think I have the those other... Um, other hotel franchises as well I have the kind of membership there as well but I ha actually have the it, the ambassador with with intercontinental so I feel like when I get there there's and they're supposed to have a dedicated desk uh, for people who are you know intercontinental ambassadors you're supposed to get in ch checked in quicker you can get an early check-in you you automatically get a late checkout if you if you desire that there's supposed to be a welcome you know package 
waiting for you in your room when you get there. And those are the, th the things that I like, I've become accustomed to, which is why I renew that every year. So to walk into a hotel and all those things that I expect to see um, not being there is very, very disappointing. So, but anyway, um, this, the first time, I, I, the complimentary stuff, like they had a little letter that explained a few things, but your regular chocolates or things that they have there, they didn't have any of that. But there was a nice letter. I was pleasantly surprised at the size of the room, even though the bathroom was really tiny, but it was a nice room, nice view, just gorgeous. I didn't have to complain. I got in there and everything was just beautiful. So I very much, very much um, appreciated that that bit of it. You know, a lot of times when I travel and the reason I don't mind spending a little bit more money on a decent hotel is because I'm on holiday. <laughs> For the most part, I'm going to be sleeping. I'm going to be trying to sleep. I am going to sleep. Um, when I'm on holiday, I have more, you know, I buy more. <laughs> so I'm going to get tired and I want plus sheets, nice pillows, and I'm going to be sleeping. So the room has to just match that vibe that I'm looking for. And that's all I'm saying. And a lot of times you don't, um, since the pandemic, a lot of you, we haven't been getting that a lot. Anyway, so we checked in. It was a beautiful room. It has a nice living room space. There are two TVs, one in the living room, one in the bedroom. Had a balcony with nice lounge um, chairs that you could sit on and watch the views. And just outside our balcony, it lined the little park that was just across from the hotel. But it was lined with these beautiful jacaranda trees. And I was just like, yes. And then if you looked, you know, off into the distance, you could see the water and all of that. So <laughs> I was, I was very happy, pleasantly surprised. And um, my beauty was just like blown away. It's like, yes, I love this and this, that, the other.
when we leave, we always feel like we, we, we definitely want to come back there, you know? And that's how we felt. That's how we felt. Uh, the food was good. Uh, here we ordered room service. Um, yeah, so that's this. That's it for this episode. Um, stay tuned for part two.